Every 46 moons, I check the Ulanzi site for new arrivals to see if there's anything worth pushing on you, like a snake oil salesman. And there was a couple things that looked like, oh, okay, they're nice, they're always innovating. So today we go over some gadgets that you might appreciate through affiliate links brought to you by Kmart. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. In case you're not interested in any of this crap, we're filming on the Nikon ZF with the Viltrox 16mm 1.8. I'm going to do a full review soon and compare it to the 17-28 to and maybe a little Sony 20mm 1.8 in there and a little how's the stay, but we get a first peek brought to you by Kellogg's. So we got four items that looked interesting to me. One of them they sent me extra. I would not have picked that thing and deservedly so. So we'll get over that. Let's just do that one first because what were you thinking? We have a bag that holds the pocket three. It's designed for that and that alone. Look at the size difference. This is why this doesn't work in real life. This is what I wanna carry around, not this giant thing hanging off my fanny pack. So there's no way in hell I would have ever got this. But if you're that kind of guy and you wanna protect it, it has little compartments. They feel weird because, okay, look at this. Hopefully Nikon's doing it. You see these little things? That's cool, but like they, it's kind of its own thing. There's an empty open bottom to it. I'm not sure that that's gonna hold up when you put your pocket in there. What would you even do with the damn thing though? Like, I don't get it. Just like it's in this bag now. You could do that with almost any bag and then little thing accessories in here. No. Thank you, but no, these will be on my curb in like eight minutes. Now sticking with the Pocket 3, I noticed that they had a very interesting little device. You know, the official DJI, ow, that pinched me. It's a little extender that you can put this little clip on. So when you have the backpack, boom, you're now pocketing. I have one, a cheap one I got on AliExpress, the Hepel. This is the best. So like this is a cheap little plastic piece of crap. And the thing I don't like about this is it only opens like a certain amount and it feels like I'm gonna snap that off. One day it will entirely break. I don't know why they designed it like this. I should just break it right now. Oh God. Okay, it does. Okay, it does open. Oh, thank God. I've always been paranoid that I'm gonna break that. So like, here we have this, and this might actually have some advantages over the Ulanzi. Yeah, that's that's sad. That's a China company on AliExpress outdoing Ulanzi. That's not good. Okay, so now that this is in place, basically it has two GoPro mounts, one on the back and one on the bottom. Oh, I hate you so much, Nikon. Yo, know, you're the worst Nikon friend I ever had. So I like having this thing here so I can put one of my clips on and this will go on my backpack like that. But if I wanna do the chest mount and do scooter vlogs, this is surprisingly well worth it for a scooter vlog. It's stable enough and you get the one inch sensor. Like it looks really good. So this one, you just loosen a little, bring it down, boom. And then your clip is there and then I have a quick release on my chest mount and then boom, I'm straight up. We're riding, We're riding into the wind. Now where the Ulanzi one differs, it's all metal. So it's like much more solid. And the quick release is just a little button press, opens, folds. That's much better. Like it just feels way higher end. What I don't like many things actually. So this just snaps, done. And it's locked in place, we're good. One, it kinda can slide a bit up and down. So like, we don't know if it's ever in position at all. It's just kinda there. So like, if it's all the way down, the screen won't open. If it's up a bit, then eventually it will. Let's prove it. 
you're vlogging about your cats. I unsubbed. So we also have the cold shoe on the side. The only real difference is there's only one little GoPro mount or tripod screw. So this one doesn't have a tripod screw. So this is much more minimalistic if you wanna just put it on a backpack. So you can see we got the Ulanzi quick release adapter screwed right into the back. But as you've noticed, if I wanna go with the chest mount and do the scooter vlogs, no, there's no way to do it. So it's fail city. It really is. It, it should have had something on the bottom and it doesn't. So, I don't know, and it's heavier. It's noticeably heavier. I don't know. Okay, if that ride was smooth, I just had it on my backpack clip. I actually prefer this now. Take back everything I said. I don't even need the chest mount anymore. So boom, it's just a little awkward that you have to use the joystick to turn it more because it is pointed out that way. All right, the third thing, which has been sitting awkwardly on my lap for some reason, I am a fan of the tube light. In fact, it's not even on right now, but let me show you why I love this thing so much. Hi, I'm a loser with no tube light and I don't know. Oh, oh wow, that's way too bright. It, off and then slight. It's a little ghetto. Is it ghetto? Is it Philip Bloom approved? Not likely, you're not gonna find a course on it, but I like the tube light and Ulanzi has one that directs the light better with these little shields. And I was like, that looks interesting. It's a lot heavier, but like the on off button is better. Where is it? It's right here. Although I just, I've been saying this over and over again for the love of all that is holy companies just stop putting black buttons on a black background. I can't see it. It should be so obvious. Like, oh, there's the big red button. We're morons. Come on, give us some help. But like any tube light, it's a little shorter than the Freewell one, which Freewell doesn't even sell anymore. I can't even find it. They don't even have a lighting section. It's like gone, like they don't believe in themselves. Whereas this is like the best tube light I've ever seen. It has magnetic things in the back and I use that. My door frames are magnetic. So boom, just tap it up there and tripod screw and the battery lasts so long. I make so many videos and it's always on and like three weeks, I'll charge it again. Like super good. Whereas this one, I'm not so sure. There's no magnetic attachings to the back. This whole thing's kind of weird, but it does everything that one does. Heavier, maybe available glimmer glass. So let's see what the difference is. This tube light, boom, off, and now Ulanzi going on. Probably identical. Maybe I can hide the shadows better. Oh, look at, see? Look at the shirt. Look at that shirt. Huh? Wow. So like we could direct it better. What about the top? Mm. You don't want to go too far on that one. And then you're hiding it and it's a more directed pattern. It's almost like a grid for your softbox. Are you believing that? Right now I have the lantern and the Zion softbox. So what I would improve about this, I like the little shields. I would have it longer because it's like three fourths of the size of the free well and much heavier and some magnetic backing. That, that's a good idea and make it strong. That one's not always as strong as it could be. And then the red button, big red button, something easier to see because especially when it's on, like it's say it's a bright thing and you wanna turn it off. Let me turn it right up there. Oh, the fan, wow. There's a noticeably loud fan when you're way up there. That's a downside. Wow. So like, I'm blinded now. I can't see these black buttons on the thing. So I never know what button is. It. Thankfully, it's the on off buttons on the side. That fan, 50%, 49, it's off. So don't ever go above that. Okay, I'll buzz you up. 
we got a package. And I have just douche tubed myself with the Ulanzi tube light balanced on my books with the awkward shield flapped up. Might as well do a live unboxing of whatever the heck this is. Oh my god. Oh my, it's wild. Steinbeck has sent us the little mega dap for Nikon to put Zeiss lenses on. Okay. Okay. Let's switch to the Zeiss Battis 18mm 2.8. doesn't work at all with any of my lenses. It just says error on the screen, press shutter to release it. And then you do and nothing happens. That's good time. A lot of firmware hell ahead of me on that one. But thank you Steinbeck for the effort. All right, the last item again, they just sent me this. And I was like, never in a million years would I've used that, but it's a tiny little light for your action four, which we're about to test in my bathroom. Uh, it's interesting, like, this is how I have mine, with a little small rig adapter, magnetic, and then an Ulanzi clip, so when I'm out vlogging, boom, on my backpack clip, that's fun time. So in order to use this, you have to remove that. Thankfully, it's magnetic and quick, and then, boom, you have an awkward little light, and you just, boom, hold it, wow, and then it has a little brighter, brighter lower let's go see how that looks in a bathroom near you okay we're in a bathroom with dji audio and we have a shower curtain behind me little sliver of door light which probably i should not have done now that i see it okay so here's no lights not very good is it no it's not so here we have wow that is bright okay it's a little blinding, but there you have your pitch black vlogging. You got some that's on the lowest level. Wow, that is that's flattering. I guarantee it's flattering. This is good. It, if you want to look like you're taking flash photography constantly and forever, you got a little light down there. It works. Kind of, but I wouldn't do that. I don't know, there's some uses for it. You can see the reflection of it. Stop that. It definitely does something. I don't know that it would fill in like normal light. What if we're out here? Now we have lighting. It's still on. Wow, brighter, the brightest versus none. DJI adjusting. How's that audio? Good. So affiliate links will be available for each one of these items. I kind of think the tube light might be okay for some situations and nothing else really will make it into my arsenal, I don't think. I do prefer that pocket thing. It's like so much slimmer. If you're just like vlogging and then you want to put it away, I'll try a scooter vlog like that, but it's going to be like tilted and angled like that way. And I don't know, you could have done better. And it does still block the micro SD. So I don't know, it's not the greatest thing I've ever seen, but whatever, I'm used to being disappointed and affiliate links, huh? How you doing? You subscribing for more videos? Anything?